Sterling Ronan here. This week, I had the pleasure of going out and training with Warrior Martial Arts Club on the south side of Chicago in a fantastic Taekwondo group that is actually working within all the kids of the community uh, and really bringing a positive outlook to martial arts. Let's go check it out. big semicircle, or big circle I should say, it was a complete circle, and what was really cool about this is they were all able to learn from each other, they were learning discipline, they were learning martial techniques, uh, but they were taking so much more than just martial arts, they were growing together as a group, and I really enjoyed seeing that, seeing the positive influence of martial arts could bring in a community. though for a second. A lot of the time you'll see low blocks, horse stance, punches. This is something that typifies a lot of traditional martial arts. Now instructor David was fantastic. Right from the beginning he said you're just doing this to understand the discipline, to get some of the motions down pat. This is not how you're going to fight. However, Taekwondo does catch a little bit of flack for things like a low block, reverse punch, uh, let's take a look at how that applies going out into the real world. Now, as you can see, that Sanda fight I showed, it was fantastic. Classic low block follows right up with the high cross exactly what we were going over. So a lot of these traditional techniques do have a place in modern fighting. You can see them used all the time in MMA, kickboxing, Sanda, Sancho matches. Really, really cool to see those traditional techniques at use. Sometimes spinning techniques are viewed as 
nonsense. It's a lot of people don't like them, especially inside the self-defense community. Let's take a look and see if it really works. That knockout was pretty awesome. However, you can see it's very much a Taekwondo competition. Hands are down. Uh, would this work if there was grappling, if there was striking, uh, if people could kick, you could go to the ground? Let's take a look at this awesome MMA knockout. You'll see those spinning techniques really do work and should probably be a piece of your repertoire somewhere. Finally, something I don't normally do, but I wanted to include Instructor David talking to his class and you can see some of the lessons that he gives as to how the tenets of Taekwondo apply outside the dojo, inside the community. It was phenomenal to see and it was great to see these kids really getting those life lessons. And Instructor David being more than just a martial arts instructor, but being a life coach along with them. By. by striving to live by, I mean we should do our best to be courteous to people at all times. Can I do this, sir? Yeah, sir. You guys I'm doing fine, thank you. You guys for being courteous. Please, thank you. We show courtesy in the dojo when we come in the door, we bow. When we see the instructor, what do we do? Yeah. We bow. Yeah. Right? We bow to the end of the class, we bow to the end. Each year from the coast, she states that how I take the Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, really, a big thank you to Warriors Martial Arts Club. Uh, they were fantastic to go out and train within a kids program or a family-orientated program is what I should really call it. We had all ages there. It was really phenomenal to see martial arts involved in a school and this is what martial arts is all about. So big thank you to Instructor David for having me out. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, don't be shy, leave a comment down below or go check out our Facebook page. That has video that we're not able to show here in YouTube. Uh, it's got photos. It's also a really good way for us all to interact together. Uh, and you can also go read the blog that I write that goes into a lot more depth and detail that we can't cover uh, in a nine minute video. So, thank you again. Uh, if you can, hit that subscribe button. That certainly helps us. Uh, and we really appreciate it. So, I'm the Traveling Ronin. Thank you very much. Keep training hard.